Hey guys, it's Dave here again. Um, follow up video. Thought I'd talk to you guys today about where to get started getting ready for your exam. Now I'm just talking about the Canadian exam, so Americans or people in New Zealand, you're gonna have to figure out a there your guys' regulations, but uh, for Canadians in particular, I just want to talk about that today. Um, so just a few starting off points. Uh, first thing I would do, and I might be way off track, but uh, first place I went to was I got a book and it's called Ham Radio for Dummies by H. H. Ward Silver. And if you're a dummy like me, this is a good place to start. It won't prepare you for the exam but it just sort of gives you an idea of where to get started in ham radio what it's all about and it's a really good reference book uh, i i got the kobo kobo edition and i regret doing that i wish i would have got the paper edition of that just because uh reference books they're they're easier just to, i find they're just easier to flip around back and forth on paper than navigating through um, pages on a on an e-reader or your iPad and the reason I would recommend uh, that book or or any book in general is like you know the information you find on the internet um, I guess I'm old school but you know I'm here like what authority do I have to uh, teach you about ham radio I have none but people typically that are published authors, I think they might know a thing or two before uh, they get their word printed on page. So that's a good starting off point and just from learning a little bit, uh, things come up uh, and I've gone and, well I wonder what they're talking about there, so instead of searching around aimlessly on the internet, I would go back to uh, something that he wrote about in that book, so highly recommend that. That's not going to prepare you for the exam, it's just going to give you a general idea. There, there is some stuff that uh, is going to uh, come up on the exam that's in the book, but it's definitely not a definitive study guide. Um, another place you want to go to is a website called hamstudy.com and that is designed uh, primarily for Canadian students to prepare for getting their ham license in Canada. Uh, I think it's $30 or something for a 30 day subscription or $40 for 90 days. And they have practice questions on there and explain the theory. I didn't go that route myself personally. Um, I'm going to be uh, ordering a book on Amazon that is basically ham study in print form. I just, I'm one of those guys, I'm, I read better in print than I do um, staring at a computer screen. So I'm waiting for that to come in and, and when it does I'll uh, review it and go over it with you guys. But in the meantime and in between time, while I'm waiting for that to come in, um, the government of Canada, and I don't work for the government, um, thank goodness, um, no I'm kidding, um, but you can go online and I'll send you the link right here, and basically what it is, is it's the question bank. So they like literally give you all the answers for the test. There's 500 exam uh, questions on here, the test is a hundred of these questions and they're all they show you how they weight it so there's so many questions in this topic and so many questions in that topic and primarily I probably got through a quarter of this and it's it's basically common sense stuff like the first you know I printed this off I don't know how I can't remember how many pages this is but you know probably the first 20 30 pages on this is it's common sense stuff that uh, you really don't need a book to learn about that. So while you're waiting, if you go the book route, um, you can grab this. And even though it is common sense stuff, it is a lot of memorizing. You have to know uh, what bands is what frequency, um, and uh, you know what you know what does this act mean, and what does that regulation mean. And uh, if you're anything like me, um, I have a terrible memory. I just can't read stuff and retain it. If you can, uh, good for you. But for the rest of us, um, what I've done is I've just uh, got a flashcard app. 
and I'm not even going to bother linking that because just uh, on your phone uh, or your iPad just uh, or tablet, just search uh, flashcards and they're made up for high school kids, I guess. Um, and yeah, just put the questions on flashcards and uh, you'd be surprised if you've never done the flashcard system. Um, if you don't understand what it is, YouTube it, somebody's explained it. Uh, it's a really good memorization tool because there is a lot of memorizing. Um, I got to a point there probably, like I said, about a quarter of the way through where I don't understand and I'm not going to just memorize just for the sake of memorizing. Um, I want to study for the fact that I actually want to learn these concepts because I'm going to need to know these CAD concepts and apply them. So highly recommend that and uh, set up your flashcards and uh, basically how the exam works is, and if I'm wrong, if you've taken the exam, comment below, but you need 70% to pass. That gives you access to your 2 meter, 70 centimeter. Um, so that gives you, a, in a previous video, I talked about the Baofeng UB5R. That gives you access to the 2 meter so you can communicate on your local repeaters. And uh, you might be fine with that. You might be glad just to get 70%. Um, if you get over 80%, on that exam that gives you it gives you basic with honors and it gives you access to all of the bands including the high frequency ones one other thing there's another really good resource if you um, want to practice uh, how good you are is uh, there's an app here called uh, ham basic and I'm gonna send uh, put a link on that here also um, not getting any money off of that link or I'm not associated with ham study or this ham basic app but it's just an app I found and uh, basically what it is I don't know if you can see in this screen here but it's basically they'll take a hundred uh, questions from this exam bank these 500 questions and they're gonna make up a real exam not a real exam but a practice exam and you can go along and you can just actually see how good you are right now just cold and uh, as you study you can see how you can improve, improve and stuff and for me um, other than like I said uh, going over some basic rules and regulations I can you know myself already easily get 60% on this without even getting into the um, deep deeper uh, subjects with antennas and components of radios um, if you're strong with electrical, uh, there's stuff about um, just some basic calculations. If you're strong, uh, if you have an electrical background with series and parallel circuits and Ohm's law and uh, calculating watts and just manipulating those formulas. Um, if you're not familiar with it, they'll walk you through it, I'm sure, through the book and tons of resources on YouTube about it. but easily you know right off the bat you can easily get 60 percent so uh, 50 or 60 percent depending on how good you can uh, memorize basic basic common sense rules so yeah uh, any questions or comments just put them below the video here like I said I'll put links to the exam bank uh, hamstudy.com and the app and if you have an Android, I don't know if it's for Android device also, I'm an Apple user, so don't freak out if you're one of those guys. And uh, don't forget to subscribe to my videos, or to my channel, and uh, keep a lookout for more upcoming videos, and uh, I'll talk to you guys later.